What's up YouTube? My name is Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Alright you guys, so today's video is pretty simple, self-explanatory. I'm going to just be talking about my, basically giving y'all a life update, what's been going on. Because I went MIA for like two damn near three months and I know y'all just confused. So we're going to talk about all of that. I'm going to just tell y'all how life has been while living in Hawaii. By the way, this is not Raven, this is Sky. Say hi. Say my name is Sky. Yeah, we're just gonna get straight into the video. Also, just wanted to let y'all know if y'all hear any playing throughout this video or it seems like I keep stopping, it's because I'm literally, Honolulu is basically across where I'm at and the airport is right there. So there's planes that fly back and forth through this area. So that's why it's loud. So yeah. So first question was, what do I miss about Houston? Honestly, I just miss being around like my friends, family, and like the vibes that I was getting in Houston. And just being able to, you know, go to my best friend's house whenever I felt like it. Now I can't do that because I'm 3,000 miles away. So it is a bit difficult. Same thing with my mom. I used to live with her. So it's like I could just walk in her room and get on her nerves. Now I can't really do that. I have to call her to get on her nerves. But that's like the main thing that I miss about Houston is like the vibes like I'll definitely say like I miss the Houston vibes what's a typical day like for you in Hawaii um a typical day for me in Hawaii honestly um during the weekday I wake up pretty much at 6 a.m get myself ready really fast get my nephew ready and then we try to walk out the house by 6 30 so that way he could get to he could go to breakfast before class and then I could just chill and relax before it's time for me to actually clock in so that's pretty much what a typical day looks like i work from 7 30 to 2 as of right now and then after that <clears throat> like right now it's 2 46 so i pretty much have like the rest of the day to do whatever i want so that's pretty much what a typical day looks like um during the week on the week um on the weekends it varies i could be at home all day i could be just dashing or something like that it all just depends how do you like the island lifestyle honestly living on an island and being able to wake up every day like knowing that i live on the island is honestly in my opinion is cool but at the same time i do wish that i could like take long road trips but at the same time i could kind of sort of do that out here but like me and my mom used to take road trips to visit my grandma in louisiana and stuff like that so that was a total of like six hours but now here i can't really take that much of a long road trip because the island is small but at the same time it's not that small i feel like it'll start to feel small to me once i've like seen everything and been everywhere and done everything like more than once then i feel like that's when it'll start to feel small to me but right now um i like the island lifestyle it's cool it's very peaceful in my opinion have you tried any new activities or hobbies so far as new activities or hobbies i would say the only thing that's new would be going to the gym which i haven't been in a minute but that's just because i'm trying to lay out my schedule um it's kind of hard for me to go to the gym as of right now simply because someone has to watch my nephew and i can't just up and leave the house if no one else is here he would have to go with me but the thing with that is he can't go to the gym with me because there's no kids allowed so it's like either i would have to wake up like super early in the morning and go before work or i have to just wait until i get home and then every when everyone else is home then i can go to the gym i just have to find the best time to go and like work it in with my work schedule then i'll like have it down but that's like the main thing that um that's like the main i would say activity or hobby that i have is like going to the gym what's your favorite hawaiian tradition as of right now i really don't have a like favorite hawaiian tradition because i haven't really i know a few of them but i don't like i haven't tried any of them i don't do any of them so i don't have a favorite as of right now how have you adapted to hawaiian culture the only thing that i know for a fact is like a hawaiian thing that they do here and y'all have probably seen it before but they throw a shaka so that basically means like thank you the way of saying thank you out here or in hawaiian um is mahalo so i've just been like adapting pretty easily like, what's been the biggest cultural shock um as of right now i don't think i've had like a cultural shock or nothing that surprised me so 
nothing as of now. Have you learned any Hawaiian phrases? The only thing that I've learned, everyone knows what aloha is. Um, I've learned mahalo, which means thank you or... I, I thought I think it's thank you and bye. I think I learned a few phrase like a few things um, being here, but those are the like the main two is aloha and mahalo. What's your favorite Hawaiian dish? So so far as food, I try to steer away from Hawaiian food because I don't know what's in it, and I've already had an incident where I ordered like regular fried rice and it had fish in it and it was chicken fried rice and I didn't understand why they put fish in chicken fried rice so so far as now I'm just I've just been trying to steer away from eating their food just because I don't know what's in it and I'm allergic to seafood peanut butter stuff like that so I'm trying to stick to what I know just until I'm able to get like Benadryl EpiPens and all that good stuff so what's your favorite beach or hiking spot so, so far I've only been to two beaches, the beach that is for my community and um, I think it's called Turtle Beach but we kind of went super late so I didn't really get to explore but I would say Turtle Beach because I don't think I've actually seen like a big turtle like one of the big ones ever. I would probably say Turtle Beach. I think that's what it's called. Have you explored any hidden gems? No, I haven't. How do you stay active outdoors? Honestly going to the pool going to the beach um if i'm going like if i'm going to the gym i'll like do like a light jog or i'll actually run for a minute and then i'll take a break and then run again so that's like the main way i stay active when i do go outdoors Ooh, how expensive is it living in hawaii let me tell you if you thought coming to hawaii with 150 dollars was gonna cut it or coming to hawaii with 500 dollars you thought that was gonna cut it Buki Bear, I'm here to tell you it's not. Like, Hawaii is super expensive. The first day I got here, the first thing I did when I landed was I went to Walmart to buy a bed set, um, blankets, pillows, and all of that in total was damn near $100. Like, I'll say about 50, 60 bucks for the bed set, the blanket, the pillows, like, it's expensive living here but if you're one person then I would say it's still expensive but not as expensive as it could be for like four or five people or like three or four people so yeah um what's the job market like um so for jobs say for jobs um for since the cost of living is so high out here you do get paid a good amount of money just simply because um the whole state of hawaii like is super expensive so you do get paid a good chunk of money um i know for me i currently work at a elementary school so i get paid a good amount um i don't really feel comfortable telling you guys how much but just know i get paid a good amount enough to pay for things that i need to pay for so far as bills and stuff like that so I would say it's, it's it's pretty good do you recommend moving to hawaii with all seriousness I would say yes, but before you move, just make sure that you stack your money. I honestly wish I would have stacked my money before I moved out here, but I didn't. I would definitely say, yeah, like, it's worth it. It's a change of scenery. Um, it's super peaceful. Like I said before, it's super peaceful when I walk outside. Like, even now, I have a straight shot of the, um, like a tree excuse me and like the trees just i don't know when i'm walking down i literally feel like i'm in a movie living here like i legit feel like i'm in a movie living here so if you feel like you need to change the scenery somewhere that's on an island and just you know you want to go outside every day and be at the beach and at the pool that i would definitely say yes moving here is worth it and on top of that you get paid a lot more than you get paid on the mainland so I would recommend moving here. How has Hawaii impacted your mental health? Honestly, my mental health has been a thousand times better. I feel like I'm a lot more happier here. Um, I feel like, you know, just everything is a lot better. Um, I have freedom. I'm able to do the things that I want to do, you know, just whenever I want, how I want, and stuff like that. So, overall, my mental health has been good. Have you made new friends? Um, yes, I have made new friends. 
but at the same time we don't talk a lot so i would say a little bit of yes and no because honestly we don't talk much and we've only seen each other maybe once or twice um but it's a work in progress i'm not really focused too much on friends right now i'm just trying to you know stay in my bag and stay out the way so Period. All right, you guys. So that was all of the questions that I got. Those are some really good questions. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making this and just explaining, you know, how life has been so far out here and stuff like that. If you do, if you guys do plan to visit, then I would say go for it. Just make sure that you stack your money up. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notification bell, share with a friend if you like to see me outside of YouTube, all of my social medias. Per usual, will be linked down below. In the description box and without further ado i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye i do it for real you do it for fun when the opps see me you know they go wrong